Welcome to the first episode of Wyoming Productions presents J and M Solve the World. I'm Matt. I'm James. And we're gonna tackle topics that uh, current, not current, whatever stuff we like, music, bands, you know, uh, wrestling. Ooh yeah, we can do it up. <laughs> um, since we're talking about wrestling, why don't we start with the the big news? The big news: seventy. One year old Ric Flair. I think 73. 70 some year old Ric 70 Flair. 70 some year old Ric Flair. Final match sold out in less than 24 hours. I don't know if these are a bunch of sadial masochists that want to see an old man die or if they just want to see the nature boy one more time. I mean, it's, 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 it is what it is. I mean, he's 70 some years old. Yep. He claims to be in better shape than he was when he wrestled Shawn Michaels in his retirement match. True. Um, but at the same time... He almost died three years ago. Yes. But to talk to any former wrestler, any current wrestler, he's the GOAT. Oh, yeah. He's the number one man on everybody's Mount Rushmore. Yeah, exactly. And if but he can do it... I'd like to see it, but I don't want to see it. Because I want to remember Ric Flair as the nature boy. Right. Walking I mean, the aisle, styling and profiling. Kiss stealing, wheeling dealing, <coughs> yeah. son of a gun. Lear jet flying, limousine riding. Think, did you see the pictures of him at, at Charlotte's wedding this weekend? I saw one. Wearing the where, pink suit. Oh my God. And I mean, he Beige. was just. <laughs> Balling, mm -hmm. but I mean, you know, it's, it's your Flair always tries. But that's that's your little girl. Yeah, that's your daughter. She's getting married. Um, I don't want to see this match because, like, when Jordan retired the first time, right? Retired from basketball. Go six championships, two gold medals, an NCAA champion. Um, I mean, he went out top of his game. Right. Then you've got athletes that stick around entirely too long. Exactly. And it's like, uh, really? If the match comes about, the rumors I've heard, which I don't know if they're all true or not, but supposedly it's going to be a six man with him and FTR who are probably the best tag team in wrestling today, mm -hmm. as far as a classical tag team. They don't, they're not the young bucks doing all the bullshit flipping and flying and all right. that crap. Versus Ricky and Robert, the Rock and Roll Express, who are one of the greatest tag teams of all time. And then the rumor was, it was gonna be Ricky the Dragon Steamboat as their partner. But Steamboat has already said he's not doing it. Yes, but so. But I mean, there, there's if, if, it, if it's if it's that group of guys, I feel a little more comfortable with it because I know Flair would be more protected with that group of guys, right? Than most anybody else. I mean, you wouldn't want to see him in there against the young bucks and them doing dives off the top rope on him and shit, you know? Yeah, Flair versus the Usos, yeah, or you know Roman Reigns or right. you know whatever. But at the same time... But they, they, they know how to work better than the Young Bucks. Right. At the same time, I could see Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. If they just got in the leave, match... Leaving the cloud there, because, I mean, um, Spider-Man Far From Home. Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire both said, and if you haven't seen it, spoilers, uh, they both said they're not in the movie. Yeah. Up until the premiere, we're not in the movie. No, this is great. That'd be awesome, but we're not in the movie. I mean, if you had if you had FTR and Rock and Roll Express carry nine percent of the load, even though the Rock and Roll Express are in their sixties, mm -hmm. but they've been active. They're, I mean, they haven't like stopped for twenty years and then came back. Right. They've been active this whole time, wrestling independents and mm -hmm. everything. They're still active in the NWA. You know, Billy Corgan yep. owns the NWA. 
if they pull them off 90% of it and then Flair and Steamboat got in there for a chop exchange and some stuff, that would be cool. Yeah. You know. But uh, with Steamboat, I don't know how WWE would handle it because he does work for them. He's behind the scenes, you know. Uh, yeah. and but behind this, the this, scenes, this match is going to be under the Jim Crockett Promotions, band, right? Which Jim Crockett Promotions hasn't been a thing since, well, not since Ted Turner bought him out in WCW, right? WWE owns all the rights, all of Jim Crockett Promotions video archive archives and all that mm -hmm. so maybe that would be a way that it ain't like you it for ADW right or TNA or TN, yeah, TNA yeah impact whatever the hell they call it now but I think though if Vince McMahon was going to do this it would it would have the WWE network it would have the universe it would be a big bill. But that would ruin all the ambiance of Jim Cocker Promotions, the Four Horsemen reunion. Because Four Horsemen were never in WWE. Not, no. at, not as the Four Horsemen. Correct. But at the same time, it, just like Disney, when they bought Marvel, when they bought Fox, and Disney has stated that they're not changing Deadpool. Deadpool won't be released uh, on the Disney platform. They would use like Touchstone or something like that. Mm. So Deadpool stays in our rating. I could see Vince doing something like that because he's a businessman. Yeah. He, he didn't become a billionaire overnight. And who knows who's the money behind Jim Park Crocker Promotions here? Right. So, it'll be interesting. I'm curious. Don't know if I want to watch it until after the fact, make sure he survives. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, uh, you know, if it hadn't been for his health situation, what was that three years ago? Yeah, when yeah. he had uh, uh, a heart attack. Yeah, uh, his heart, and he, he was damn near dead. Yeah. So we'll have to see. I mean, Ricky and Robert, like I say, they haven't had any major health issues. Mm -hmm. You know, I think Robert's got some back issues and stuff now. But I mean, goddamn, he's sixty-five yeah. years old and he's still freaking wrestling. You know? Right. So. Right. And I mean, that, and that says a lot about the performers. Right. But. I don't know. I would still rather Flair not do it, stay at the top of his game, uh, be, you know, a manager right. or, or, or something like that. Because, um, I mean, hell, uh, Percy, Percy or Paul, you know, uh, however you want to call him, Paul Bear, uh, Percy Pringle. Percy Pringle. Mm -hmm. He had a blast yeah. as a manager, yeah. and he was a bigger cut up than most of the superstars. Well, look at JJ. And JJ Dillon supposed to be at the Four Horsemen reunion. Yeah, but he was a wrestler back in the late sixties, early seventies, something like that. And then he got mm -hmm. into the manager role. Right. It's because he wasn't a top wrestler, you know. But I don't know. It's gonna. It's there's supposed to be a whole card. It's supposed to be like six matches. And I haven't heard about any of the other matches. Yeah. You know, are they going to bring back Nikita Koloff for a match? <laughs> or, you know, I mean, or is it going to be some indie guys that we've never heard of? I mean, if they got the Briscoes on there versus another top quality tag team, that would be worth a watch. Oh, the young Briscoes. Yeah, the young Briscoes. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Not, 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 the not, not, not Jerry, no, but yeah. the Briscoes, the, the chicken farmers or whatever they are from Virginia. Yeah. Them and FTR, they could put that match on there. That would, you know, 
mean, the player couldn't follow it. That had to be the last match. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, that that you know, takes away from the, Flair's final match. Right, right. Why wouldn't that be right. the main event? I don't know. You guys let us know what you think. Uh, comment below. Uh, yeah. Do you, want to, do you want to see Flair in another match? Or do you just want to remember the Nature Boy the way he was? Let Honestly, I'd like to remember the Nature Boy the way he was as the NWA champion and not in WWE. Yeah. Getting, getting super kicked by Shawn Michaels to end his career. Yeah. Getting that tombstone yeah. from Taker. Yep. But, all right, guys. See you later. Take care.